opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick boss's youtube channel and press that bell icon now okay we've got uh, sundar raman joining us now and uh, of course he was at the chennai table did very well with uh, uh, the auction uh, the last two days was also on the phone. We tried, they were trying to get some uh, extreme close-ups of your phone to see if you were talking to MS. But the question <laughs> I want to start off with is that you pretty much were uh, you know instrumental in designing the rules of this auction about 15 years ago. In the last two days, have you ever cursed yourself from some of those rules? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. I was. I am very happy, and I hope it continues for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> They've all passed your uh, own litmus test, haven't they? All those rules have. <laughs> nah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. So I'm, I'm yeah, happy. Uh, with, this is the card I was dealt with. I'll handle it. But uh, what are the us... keys for for you? So, so, sorry, what are, what are the keys that you've sort of taken out of the auction as far as Chennai are concerned? I, I'm looking through and I'm just seeing a really strong bunch of all rounders in particular. You've got a lot of guys who can offer you. Anything from sort of probably number three when you're talking about Moen Ali, all the way down to number seven, number eight with a Pretorius, a Bravo, a Santner, a Jordan. Um, you've got Shivam Dubey in there. A lot of really strong all-rounders. Is that something you see as a, a real strength in this side? I think uh, the team has been uh, consistently looking at multi-skill. And that's a, that's a big belief that uh, the captain brings. And if you go back even to 2018, when the last big auction that happened, a lot of players who were unheralded at that time were brought in and you know they, they've gone on to blossom whether it was Deepak Chahar or whether it was a Shardul Thakur, Lungi Sani uh, and Josh Hazelwood as, as late as last year and, and each of them have, have sort of uh, done exceedingly well and much as we would have liked to have got all of them, uh, we were here to give uh, another bunch, another chance and uh, you know live to see another day. Did you, did you guys, uh, I know your fans did, the CSK fans certainly did. Did you miss the right to match cards in the last two days? Nah, I think uh, we, would have, we would have preferred a, a bigger attention. <laughs> you would have, right? <laughs> let, let me guess, 18 players? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Devan was, Devan was buying back everybody who had been a part of the team, uh, including uh, Tushar, who is a part of... Uh, <clears throat> our bowling support squad yeah. and uh, day two was uh, was some uh, fresh energy and fresh blood and uh, Simon Dool will be happy that we bought a fair bit of Kiwis. Yeah, I, I see that, yeah. Uh, the Stephen Fleming influence, <laughs> um, Devin Conway, Mitchell Santner you bought back there. Um, Tikshana, tell us a little bit about the strategy around buying Mahesh, Mahesh Tik, Tikshana. And Adam Milne, of course, so uh, don't forget him. Mm, um, we, uh, I think Tikshana gives us an option which uh, Imran Tahir has been uh, doing so well in the past. and. Yeah. You know, uh, we would have luck, liked to get um, Imran Tahir also, but the fact is we are allowed only eight foreigners as everybody else is. Um, I think Tikshana is is an unknown quantity and uh, we see this as a long-term uh, solve because, you know, you, you this year you may be playing in Maharashtra or wherever that you're playing in. The, the conditions and the wickets may be different, but eventually we'll end up playing in Chennai. And uh, I think things will look very different at that point in time. So we have a good mix of Moin Ali, Ravinder Jadeja, Tikshana and, and some good quality spin attack in that as well as a good quality pace attack that uh, that we have put up in, in, in the park. I don't think that any team can come out of a, a mega auction saying, hey, our plan A was successful because it can't be. There's just way too many variables. Uh, but where would you say in terms of where your ideal or your first list was, where, how satisfied are you of, of getting the things that, that you wanted? Well, the funny part of an auction is everybody goes back <clears throat> at the end of the auction, very happy because they paid a lot of money and they bought the players, right? Yeah. The, the I have a firm belief that you don't win the championship in the auction room. Hmm. And, and you're only able to put together a team which covers all bases. And most teams have gone, if you notice, to a 24, 25 kind of number because they also want to protect against any COVID impact and, you know, stuff like yeah. that. So, while a substantive amount yeah. has been spent on some players, there's a lot of collective you know, player pool that's that's been brought in. That's that's very important in, in today's day and age, right? So, I, I think some of it, thanks to the regulations, allows you for freshness even next year. And some more players come back and, you know, there is there is enough opportunities for you mm. to come back. And uh, as long as Jofra Archer doesn't miraculously get fit this year, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are, are you are you letting us into something we don't know? Nah, are you letting nah, us into nah, something nah, we don't know? Nah, 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 more no, more this important. Is, this is Greek bars, not. Yeah, I realize. Nah. Look, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I know. no no more important. I'm just going through that. There's Ruturaj Gaikwad, who obviously is going to have is, is such a fabulous player. Do you have options and openings to Robin Utapa, Ambati Raidu, or do you have to go Devon Conway because then that blocks one overseas player, but then Conway is also a backup keeper to uh, to MS. I think there is, <clears throat> as I said, we, we, we've uh, cherished our our players, particularly when they are when they are not seen as the guys who you know already achieved a lot or already you know heralded, if I may call that. I think Devon Conway fits in that bracket. Uh, he probably may be the the new Hussey, if if I can call it that. Yeah, I, I believe that, I yeah. believe yeah, he maybe um, you know he he's got his best years in front of him and and you know some of it is is certainly going to be with CSK as we see it so whether he he's the first choice or the second choice or the nth choice i think that's a decision that's best taken by the person who knows it and uh, you know has does it with a great amount of elan you know Gaurav, yes. there's some there's some exclusive clubs that you cannot get into yeah csk is this wonderful club that you cannot get out of yeah <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, absolutely true, and they don't. Uh, I mean, that's that's the thing, right? It's what Joy has been been talking about uh, the last two days, where he's been saying CSK is a team that doesn't forget their exes. So that's what you see if you've uh, if you've been there. There's always uh, loyalty, but but you so, know, so this is you. part of this I've organizing. Been, yeah. Sorry, Harsha. If, yeah, no, no, sorry, just, quick one because because you're there. Sorry to interrupt. I'm getting a bit of a lag, so sorry if I'm coming in the way. Uh, social media's, especially the Chennai fans, are full of faf they i mean they they're wishing him well they whatever but it's almost as if faf was part of the club and he just turned up late and the door got shut and he he was trying desperately to get in and he couldn't but there's <clears> such <throat> an outpouring for faf on on in amongst chennai fans no i can tell you the first person who understands the the way csk uh, approached this auction and believes the reason why he's not a part of csk is faf I think the 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 belief and the discussions and and the communication and the understanding is so deep and so rich that you know it is so nice of him to put out a social media message uh, talking to us about how much he loved us. You know we love him back in return. The fans really love Faf to Plus. It's it's not it's it's a ten year relationship, right? And and uh, you know we we believe that we could have gotten Faf to answer uh, Garo's questions a couple of uh, you know minutes ago that he asked. Uh, we were nearly to plan A, except for Faf. Mm -hmm. So uh, minus Faf, it would have been, you know, it, it, it's it's slightly less than plan A, but it's certainly plan A as far as we are concerned, given the constraints that within which we had to operate. I think we we had to pick, considering the Lord. If you look at it, um, there was a supply of overseas batters, and some of them have uh, still gone unsold, right? And if you have to spend a big amount of money at the top. Um, I think it would have altered our auction strategy very differently. We went in with close mm -hmm. to forty percent of our auction purse at the end of day one, yeah. which I think was substantively good from an auction planning purpose, whether serendipitously or otherwise. We got to to a place where we could get the squad that we desired mm -hmm. at the end of day one. We had to sort of stretch a bit here and there on day one to to get there, but day two was oh, yeah. was relatively easy for us.